Hi, welcome to my channel. I am launching a new mini series where I'll be reviewing and judging AI generated art. So I know, I know, I know how controversial this topic is, but I wanted to do something that was more lighthearted and interesting. Let's skip all the noise out there and just do something fun for, for once. So this simply stems from the idea of wanting AI generated art to experience what we go through as artists and designers or people pursuing an art or art related degree or even in a professional setting where we all have our um, artwork posted on the walls and on display for everyone to see and provide constructive criticism on. So some of this might be a familiar experience for you. And for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, then welcome and join in and you're gonna experience what it's like to provide constructive criticism on art and we'll be doing AI generated art, of course, all for fun, of course. So again, I know this topic is highly controversial especially coming from me as a digital artist who creates her own artwork and designs. But I want you to understand that this is all purely for fun. And if AI generated art is going to be in our lives for now and most in the future, then I might as well have fun and do something interesting with it. So what are my qualifications? Well, I'm a human being and that should be enough. So I decided to do Halloween AI generated art just because Halloween's coming around the corner and I am a festive person myself. I love the holidays, so we'll be doing Halloween art and I'm hoping these series will do more holiday related themed generate AI generated art. So that's the premise. So I'll be using Image Creator by Microsoft Bing and I'll be entering three different prompts and let's get started. So I have my handy dandy laptop all set up here. And we'll start with our first prompt, which is Black Cat, Haunted House, Dark Moon, Halloween Art. Let's see what it comes up with. So it finally has loaded, and this is what it came up with. Um, I see four images, so let's just start with the first one. Click on that. This is uh, pretty interesting with a dark moon in the background. Um, dark haunted house for sure with pumpkins, a cat on the roof. Um, overall, I think this is a interesting art um the cat is definitely out of proportion for sure but i don't know it has a nice spooky vibe to it moving on to the next one this one's okay um a little spooky so um the moon is really um huge in this one so i don't know if i like this as much the next one the moon is still really big i didn't say a large moon so i think that's interesting how the moon is super huge in all in the first three images. And the last one, again, a huge moon in the background with some um, cemetery vibes as well as the black cat in the front. Um, nice spooky, creepy trees in the back. It all emits some. It all emits some um, Halloween vibes for sure. I don't know if I would personally like it myself. I think there could be added some more added texture, depth, colors in this. Um, let me know your take on it. We'll just move on to the next one. So for the second one, I'm gonna do something that's more of my vibe, which is something cute with Halloween. I'm gonna enter cute Halloween ghost cat um, pumpkin inspiration art, and let's see what it comes up with. So these are actually quite cute. I'm actually quite impressed. They have a different range of cute graphics here. So different textures, different colors, which I do like. Some of them are lined work. So let's quickly look at the first one. Oh, this is pretty cute and um, happy. And that's all I think I can say. They have a really cute cat girl, so it's pretty cute. Um, don't know what this part is in the moon, but um, overall, a very cute kind of art. Moving on, this one is a lot nicer to me. I like the color, the lighting here, um, nice glow to it. Um, interesting moons, I guess, and stars in the background. Um, not sure why it's cut off on the edges. I don't know if that's part of the image, but this is overall a very cute um, one, and I do like that. This one is pretty cute, again, um, with bats and the ghosts in the back, as well as the pumpkins in the front. Something funky went on the right bottom pumpkin here where the triangular eyes don't light up and there's no face to it. Um, well, keep in mind that AI art, AI art, you know, the proportions and some of the scales, some of the 
information will be wrong. So just keep in mind in that. It's not going to be perfect for sure. This is also a cute art. Um, added some interesting details to the pumpkin, um, the top part of the pumpkin. Um, overall, cute design as well. The colors seem to go well with each other. So overall, those are very cute designs. Um, I like them and I think they're kind of creative, um, very fun to look at for sure. But tell me how you feel about the, the cute designs that you saw. Next up for the third prompt, I was thinking of doing something a little bit more spooky vibes, creepy vibes, like Freddy versus Jason, horror, thriller kind of prompts. So for the third one, let's do something like that and see what the image creator comes up with. So for the third and final prompt, I'll be entering horror, thriller, bloody, creepy, spooky, Halloween, chasing demons. Let's see what it comes out with. I know that as more um, detailed you are with the prompt, the more specific it's going to get. So we'll see what it comes up with. So this is interesting. It says unsafe image content detected, which is totally fine. So let's just tone it down a lot by just doing like skeleton art, rose art, and let's just see what it comes up with. So two images finally popped up for this prompt, um, roses and skeletons. Let's go to the first one. This is an interesting take on the rose and skeleton art. Um, I've never seen art and part of a skeleton body before that's not a head. So this is kind of an interesting, unique uh, work. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts on this um, amidst the dark vibes for sure. I wish it was more colorful to me for, for these kind of prompts. So this next one, I think that this is a pretty, pretty um, good representation, representation of the skeleton and rose art. You got the vines creeping on the back as well as leaves. It's very detailed. Um, you can see all the textures and all the little petals and um, the shadowing as well. So this is actually a pretty good um, AI generated art image, I have to say. So let me know what your thoughts on these um, last two images, um, what you think of them, and overall what you think about all the art that has been generated by AI so far. All right, that wraps up our first critique session of Halloween AI generated art. Hope you guys had an interesting time. I'll provide your own constructive criticism in the comments below. Again, this is a good exercise to just see what an AI generated program like Image Creator can produce. You can learn the implementations and the capabilities of what AI generated art can create. So let me know in the comments what you think. And for the next one, I think I'll be doing a Thanksgiving themed um, AI generated art. So let me know in the comments about what kind of prompts you want. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.